Hello boys and girls, we are going to do our math practice pages today for 8-2. Look at these, pa these problems down here with the penguins. Here we see a penguin in a box and it's going this way like toward the other group. Do you think that's adding or subtracting? It's adding. So how many did we start out with? One, two, three, four. So we're going to trace our four. And how many are in the box? We have one in the box. And that one is going toward the other group, like he wants to join the other group. So it is adding. So we are going to use our plus sign for addition. Four, one, two, three, four, plus the one makes how many? Five, because we count them all together when we're adding. One, two, three, four, five. Look over here at this one. How many did we begin with? One, two, three, four, five. We began with five. And now look, do you think this penguin is being added to it or is he being taken away? He's being taken away. We use the minus sign. We're taking away one penguin. And how many are we left with right here after we take him away? We are left with four. So the problem for that is five minus one equals four. What's the same about these two problems? They both have the number 5, the number 1, and the number 4 in them, don't they? They're just in different places. Okay, make sure you have this written on your paper because I'm going to erase it. Let's go on to the next page. Here we have cubes. So let's look at this. First we have to decide if we're doing addition or subtraction because that's going to tell us what numbers to put well. This square has an arrow pointing to the other cube like it's going to join it. Is that addition or subtraction? That is addition. So the way we count our addition is how many cubes are over here in this group? One. We put a one right here. We write our plus sign. How many cubes are in this group? Three. We write our three right here. One plus three. And then we count the entire group together for addition. 1 plus 3 equals 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the answer when we put 1 and 3 together. Now, let's look over here. Look at what this square is doing. Its arrow is pointing away like it's taking away. It's a minus. When we do subtraction, we start out with the big number first and count everything. How many are there all together to begin with? One, two, three, four. We started out with four cubes. How many cubes are going away? How many's in the square? One, two, three. Three cubes are going away. We started out with four. Three are going away. We could put a big old X over those three if that helps you. And how many cubes here do we have left? We have one cube left. Let's look at number three here. Let's look at this first problem, and I'm going to underline it. Let's look at this one. What is the square doing? Which way is the arrow pointing? Is it being added in, or is it being taken away? 
the arrow is pointing away, so we're going to use our minus sign. With subtraction, with the minus sign, we count the entire thing first, our total. How many total squares do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four squares to begin with. How many squares right here are being taken away? Two. Two are being taken away. And how many squares are left over, over here? Two. Four minus two is two. Now look at this one over here. Is it being added to or taken away? It looks like it's being added to, doesn't it? So are we going to use the minus sign or the plus sign? When we're adding, we use the plus sign for addition. Now, remember for addition, we count each group. How many are right here? Two. How many cubes are right here? Two. Two plus two equals how many are all together? One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Look at the ones that I circle up here in blue. What do you notice about the problems that are so good in blue? They all have a 1, a 3, and a 4. They're related to one another. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Let's look down here, and I'm going to circle this group in red. What do you notice about those two problems? 4 minus 2 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. They both have 1 4, and they both have two twos. Again, those two problems are related to one another. They're called related facts. All you need to know is they're similar. They're related to one another. Let's look at this next page. I want you to try to do these on your own. Look at the white polar bears up at the top. Aren't those cute? See if you can figure out which facts, which math problems you need to write for these. And I'll look at it when you get back. Have a great day and thank you for doing math with me today.